Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. I am your host, Earl Tima, alongside my big unk, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. That's very important. That way you know, Dream Teamers, when we upload new content, like the video, leave a comment. We're getting right to it once again. We want to talk about the face of the league and how the climate changes so fast or have we ever seen the climate change so fast? And what I mean by that, Dream Team, is I'm speaking of Zion Williamson. Last season, coming into the league, he was everywhere. Commercials, billboards. Now, you don't hear much about him. And uh, we just want to have a discussion with you about whether or not he is a face of the league going forward. Does his game speak of that? Or um, what exactly happened? Why why have things changed so drastically that you don't hear about them as much? You want to say something? Because you had a lot to say off the air. I have a lot to say. The simple fact that last year, all the hoopla was Zion. And like you were saying earlier, they gave him a free pass right into the playoffs. But, playing, the, yeah. Yeah, the, but, the, but what happened was, what I see what the problem was, was that Zion came into the bubble huge. He was out of shape. He was fat. And for a young player to come in, that, that's, that's kind of, you know, it jumped, it rubbed people the wrong way. Yeah. You know, and I believe that's the big reason why uh, the coach got fired. Because the whole season last year, it seemed like they was just pampering him. The whole season, like this was a college player or something. He can't play. We resting him. All this kind of stuff. And it, to me, it it set a bad tone. And then what happened is doing all the off time when he should have been working right before we went back into the bubble. Yeah. He wasn't working. And then they tried to cover that up. Because he had left momentarily, right, and came back. No, he never, he even never came. came back. He had never came back because... You know, reports were saying that he was in, he was in such great shape, and then when we yeah he did he came to the no he never even came to the bubble in the beginning because he was so out of shape they was using that time to keep him out trying to get him into some kind of playing shape and when he actually reached the bubble I was like whoever made that report that he was looking great and in great shape they just played out loud or just went by what. Somebody told him because by the time he made it to the bubble, he was he couldn't even move, man. He, and that's you never saw Zion, and that's the reason why the Pelicans that were playing before the before the the, uh, the, the pandemic, they was dangerous. He was in shape. He was it, they, they was dangerous, but with him not in shape, going into the they 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 never reached nowhere near the momentum that they had going on early in the season. And I think that's what scared a lot of people away. I think that scared a lot of marketing. And people remember that. And they're not talking about it as much because they're giving it time. I but that was a huge drop-off, though. Because like, at the end of the day, he's still box office, right? Of course. Based on his, his talents and jumping out the gym. So that's still there, right? You see some highlights from this season where he's still doing the things that He's great at, but the question is whether or not going forward, do you see him being a face of the league? Does his game lend to that idea? It's it's it's, it's to the point of like this, I, how I see it is. Zion has a lot of work to do, and the reason why you can't say no or yes, he's the face, he could be the face of the league, is because it's all about his work ethic and what is he going to develop to his game, because. He's box office off of excitement of dunks and getting to the basket with the athleticism that he has. He has no go-to shot, go-to move. Um, everything is off of athleticism and that his weight and size is something that you've never seen before. But how can how, how sustainable is that at that weight with all that athleticism and jumping and injuries and things like that? So I don't know how long his career is gonna be. That, that's my, that's my problem. All I, everything is about his 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 jumping ability. That's what makes him so unique. The size and how he jumps, how high he jumps. He, he, 
he, he doesn't get you on the on the block with the with the basic old school post up move. It's all off his feet. But he should be able to do that at that size, right? Not necessarily because he's really not that. He's wide, but he's not tall. He, they got him listed at what six six? No, about six seven. Six. Okay, six seven. Power forward center. That's what he's playing. Remember, those guys are seven footers. 6'10", 6'11". I mean, he's turn, he, he, a lot of times you see him, when he's down there, he, he, he throw up a shot, but he jumps so quick off the ground, and he's back right back up there to, to either dunk it back in, tap it in, get the rebound, and, and explode, explode back up. That's athleticism. Huh? And the grind of an NBA season, how long can that last for him to be the NBA, of, uh, of, of the face of the league of the NBA? I don't... I don't no. So th this is another two-part question to it because we build on that. You say that it's based on his athleticism, right? Yeah. And his box office, uh, power jams, dunks, whatever you want to call yeah. it. Just the excitement. Is it just the fact that he came in out of shape and above where that kind of killed his momentum? Or did the, um, the rise of Ja Morant kind of hinder that as well? Because... They came in the same draft class. They were even trying to give Zion the, the rookie of the year at one point. Yeah. After Zion put in, excuse me, after John ja Morant put in crazy work. All season. All season. Yeah. And I think they were saying, you had some pundits out there stating that if he could play half the season and lead them to the playoffs, the trophy is still that's his grab. I get that. So that's yeah. why we're here. Mm -hmm. That's pushing an agenda. Right. So now we're here. You spoke about the bubble. The season after, he seems to be in pretty better, better shape. Yeah. But, but is it the team as well? Because when you look at that roster, that roster doesn't really help this game at all. They have no shooting out there, so spacing isn't there. Right. You said he couldn't post up, but at six seven, six eight, if he faced up two dribbles, use the inside elbow, he can create space. That's what he's doing. Yeah. Yes, but. Does that lend long term? That's my point. Yeah. Is, can that, is that sustainable to be the face of the league? The face of the league is not somebody that has one or two good, good seasons or five years. I mean, you got the face of the league. It takes, you know, you got, you got to put some some time in. No doubt. Oh, before you go any further, let me state Dream Team is out there. We're not, we're not saying he ever was the face of the league. And we never jumped on that bandwagon. But... We're just talking about how things have changed in less than a year. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, he was, it was they at one point, he, he was everywhere. Yeah, they were pushing. He was everywhere. Right. Even televised games, um, like I said before, billboards, mm -hmm. highlight reels. Yeah. It's rare that you see any of that now. Is it because of his game? Is it because of what you stated, people lost confidence and they're waiting to see? Or is it simply because... He just isn't that guy. It's not that he's not isn't that guy, but they're doing not actually now what they should have been doing all along, waiting and seeing, giving him time. Y'all, he lessons. came into a, to, as a rookie automatically before he even played the game. He's gonna be the next LeBron James. He's gonna be all this, and he had never even played a game before. And the thing about it is, his game his game is a different way that it affects the game. Um, he affects the game like a junkyard dog. Mm -hmm. You know, he he does. All the dirty work of rebounding, offensive rebounds, back in, tap in, dunks, and all that. But to me, to me, and in your comments, you can prove me, um, explain to me, I don't see how he affects the game as a number one option. Because actually, he's not the number one option. Ingram. To me, he's not even the best player on his team. Ingram is the best player on his team as far as offensively um, and and. As far as the draw is Zion, so I, to, I've never seen this before. It, it's it's tricky, and I'm not like I said. I'm not saying he can't be, but I'm glad that they brought it down and took all that pressure off of him. It was too much pressure for his style of game that he have right now to be calling him the face of the league. It, it, give him some time to do something, do something in the league, and then then we'll see. But John Morant does play a big part of that because he is the the wheel that makes everything work. And he's box office. And he's definitely box office. That's another thing. 
the way he plays is reckless and his body is still growing to go into to be that 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 player that he needs to play in the NBA he plays like he has that body already and can he make it through these periods as he's developing and uh, uh, maturing his body without a major injury he's out right now with the, with the ankle yeah but he's 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 box office but nowhere near face of the face of the league either so I mean I understand what they're doing right now I mean, it's not that they're coming off this bandwagon. I hope not, but it, it's it's giving them time to do something. Really. And I think they they realize that from giving them all of that last year, and then him disappointing everyone, his organization, the NBA, and the fans. He, he disappointed them the way he came into shape. The athletes should not do that. So patience is everything, right? So yeah. you're saying we we still gonna give them time. But we, we, we out there, well, you out there, we want you to leave a comment in the comment section. First, have you seen the total drop-off on exposure for Zion Williamson? And secondly, comment whether or not you feel as though he can be a face of the league going forward. Not from this moment, maybe in the future, and why. You know, one more thing I want to touch on. The Pelicans. Last year, they seemed to be so deep mm -hmm. and, and promising how deep they were. When, when we examine their... That, they don't have, like I said, we don't. They don't have shooting, and Reddick, who is the shooter, he, he's he's down to look, uh, not not a lot of minutes anymore. He played what 18 minutes last game. Right. But he, he, I don't think him and um, and Van Gundy really get along. Yeah. Too too tough. Actually, when he came into the league, was under Van Gundy, and his when he was considered a bust. He when he got away from Van Gundy is when his career started. So we'll see how that goes. And so that's another thing you got to remember. The way Zion plays, he needs the right pieces around him. And if you get some shooters around so around what he does. And they have no shooters. You know, no, nah, not, not consistent, not pure shooters, no. Uh-uh. Well, you got Bledsoe and Lonzo Ball in the backcourt. That, that's, that's lack of spacing. Yeah. yeah. We shall see, man. That, that, that's the question there, though. We, we're not discouraging or, or even saying that the kid isn't a star. He's a star. He's a star, Definitely. for sure. But in the history of the game, you know, at least in my time, I'm pretty sure you can say the same thing. You've never seen like a drop-off like that as far as exposure goes. But to me, it's a plus. That's a positive. For him, absolutely. Yeah, it's a positive. Yes. Because where they were going with it last year, it I mean, it, it got out of hand. And, yeah. and then, then – you know, you could see that the league was pushing it. They changed the rules. A play-in? Yeah. No, what? Well, yeah, no, they would have been talking about that. I won't say it was because of them. But their but schedule was, the was cupcake, that they had though, to man. Take. That, the, the schedule so, was cupcake. Yeah. And they, they still didn't. And they still couldn't make it in. And well, you made a valid point about Alvin Gentry because he was stuck between a, a rock and a hard place. It's like they're telling him to minimize his minutes. And when he does, he still got the ball. And he's not, I'm not saying, I'm not at all saying he's a great coach because I don't have any faith in him at all, but you put him in a position where he couldn't win. I think, I, I, I don't think it was so much of them telling him. I think. You don't think the organization stated that? Because even you said the reason why he wasn't there was still a mystery or a secret. Right, but we could tell what the secret was. We knew that, yeah. Yeah, and and they would have been better off not even bringing him to the bubble. No doubt. Because the way he, the, and how bad about his shape he was, he could have got hurt, you know. And so now, understanding a young, he's young, man. Yes, he is. And and for them to wait, everyone to wait, and the organization appears to be handling him right. Where, well, you know, Van Gundy old school, you know. And they're going to practice hard. He's going to be in shape and all that. So, yeah, I, I think it's going to be a great developing year for him. Yeah. And, 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 and especially if they can compete to be in a play-in or to get into a playoff spot, that would be good. But it's going to be hard in the West, especially when they're not deep like that. Yeah, we had him in the Western Conference uh, preview. We had the Pelicans definitely within those teams that will be in a play-in. So 
we, we still have faith that they they gonna make noise. But that's the thing. No. When a young player comes in like Magic and and, and Bird, and they made them the faith. They 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 didn't make them. They took that. Mm-hmm. They became they came in and, and became the face of the league, right? From jump, right? Why? They was in finals. You know, <laughs> that's different. You can't be not making the playoffs. <laughs> and then and, and possibly in the play-in, and you the face of the league. Mm-hmm. That that that. So, slow it down. Yeah. And I'm glad they did. Me too. Yeah. All right. So you heard it here first. Leave your comments below. We want to know. Engage with us. Let us know if you feel as though Zion could possibly be uh, face of the league in the future. Have you seen a significant drop off as far as exposure goes? And also let us know what you think about the Pelicans roster. You got something else you want to say? Yeah. I Go just want the drop off. I hope you understand. It's not about his play mm. or his ability. Dream team, as you heard it's it. about exposure. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. We're not questioning his play. No. It's the exposure. Yeah. But some, you know, somebody will quickly be like, what are they talking about? It's too early for that, it's right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's the third game. No, we're talking about the exposure. Yeah. They, they, It's like they took it away. Mm. You know, it was everything was Zion last year. Yeah. And now they, they took it away, which is great, and take all that pressure off that young guy and give him a chance to develop and become the great player that he can be. So, yeah. it happened. All right. Dream Team. Dream Team is out there. Leave a comment below. This is the Team Sports Entertainment Podcast. I'm your host, Earl Tima, alongside my big gunk, the knowledgeable Al Tima. This is your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. Come along, journey with us. We appreciate all of you out there. Happy New Year. Yes. Do your thing out here. Stay prosperous. Make sure your goals become a reality with hard work. Subscribe to this channel. This is where you need to be. Hit the notification bell. We appreciate all of y'all. One love. Be good out there. Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. We out.